Williams brothers and sisters. So I had a whole um, thing to do with my journey series and the Heartfulness Organization and um, a bunch of other things. That's why I didn't post videos yesterday. Um, really wiped out, tired. Um, no, I don't feel bad, but you know, I've been low energy and it's been kind of a bummer, but I'd address that in a whole separate video. So that's why I didn't make video yesterday. But here, Brad Pitt dating and living his best life years after Angelina Jolie split. Well, here's Brad Pitt, the woo stealer. But of course he is, because Angelina Jolie is like the devil. As much as Brad Pitt is reviled here at the Pockets of the Future community for stealing my woo bit, <laughs> Angelina Maleficent Jolie is worse, and I can prove it here. Okay, here it says, Angelina Jolie celebrates daughter's HBC choice by doing the electric slide. And here it is down here. So her daughter chose her college. And Angelina Lee, Angelina Jolie, there she is there. She is really stiff. She can't even do the electric slide. <laughs> See, there she is yeah, going in for a hug because she sucks at dancing. But why they um, re-evoked the electric slide, right, um, for the celebration. Look at how many people are there for the celebration of her collegiate choice. Um, but anyways, that's Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's. So this could easily be something that is on my um, celebrities dropping like flies. So could that <laughs> electric slide by Angelina Jolie. So it's sort of cross reference here. Taylor Swift's ref, rep defends private jet use, claims she regularly loans it out. <laughs> um, Taylor Swift found herself under fire Friday after being named the celebrity with the most private jet carbon emissions, and the 32-year-old singer's rep is clapping back at the ranking. Taylor's jet is loaned out regularly to other individuals to attribute most or all of these trips to her is blatantly incorrect. The Grammy winner was called out by analytics agency Yard for taking 170 flights since January. <laughs> um, that's what is like a flight a day? Reportedly admitting more than 800 tons of carbon. Many Twitter users argued on money that Swift's still at fault for her top spot even if other people are using the aircraft. I love how you are spreading the blame for your private jet, allowing other people to use it adds up to increased carbon footprint. It's not enough that you are a hypocrite, but you encourage other ones, others to, to be the same. How is that okay? Taylor Swift's carbon footprint defense being, I ran out my plane, is so ludicrous it's your plane i don't care that you don't fly it that often they that often insert bs here or others fly in it you're still emitting megan carbon mega carbon and you're still emitting mega carbon and other pollutants um she's got some crazy eyes there kylie jenner drake and other celebrities have also sparked outrage over their frequent private jet use um, and it goes into them. And so, uh, you know, hard times with Taylor Swift. But Katy Perry set things right by flinging slices of pizza into a crowd at a Las Vegas nightclub. <laughs> really, this happened, right? Boom, there she is, throwing out pizza. Boom, throwing slices there. She threw it on a plate. That didn't work. That hit the floor. There she is, bouncing around. All right, she's going to go. Kissed it and threw it out again. Boom. Is there any more of that? Um, that's all they got. Two slices is all they... All right. Anyways. Um, but the comments here are great. So it says here, Imagine Katy Perry throwing pizza right into your face. Oh my God, a dream. Tweeted one fan. Oh, to be slapped in the face with Katy Perry's pizza, joked another. The way my drunk feral ass would 100% be eating that pizza off the nasty-ass club floor if Katy Perry threw it at me, tweeted a third. 
I would do anything for Katy Perry to slap me in the face with pizza, another wrote. <laughs> Look at these. Listen to these slave Ebon efforts. <laughs> I mean, the whole implication of pizza, which we're not going to get into, right? But here she is throwing something that, you know, is not to be thrown. Pizza is messy, gooey. I mean, it's floppy. It's, you know, it's not going to, you can't throw it with any sort of consistency. You can't throw it like a Frisbee. You can't throw it like a baseball. You can't shoot it like a basketball. And so it's gross. And it's going to get on your clothes. I mean, just I when I eat pizza, it's going to get on my clothes, right? <laughs> Never mind throwing it. And to have somebody go to a nightclub and be throwing pizza, we could just hand it out to people, right? Um, you know, like they're human beings and <laughs> you're throwing slice of pizza into the crowd, right? <laughs> you know, and it's like you're some sort of royal queen and they're, you know, blessed by your, your pizza slices, hitting them in the face and slamming it into their clothing and lying at their feet. And, and when they have to scoop up the cheese and sauce and put it back on the pizza and then eat it, you know, like a nightclub f floor that's, uh, you know, in this germy, disgusting place, right? All right, so um, I guess that's enough for today. There's uh, more stuff. I have stuff coming in already for tomorrow's celebrities dropping like flies. Johnny Hurd and Amber Depp are back in the news and more people, uh, but that's enough for today. Only spirituality will save this world. It's Paramano, definitely born from the apocalypse and the ascension. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.